In this video, I'm going to compare Fantastical against Notion Calendar on design and features so you can decide which is the best calendar app for you. But before we get into the design and the features, I just want to talk about compatibility. This is a deal breaker for a lot of people, so I want to get to it up front. Fantastical is very much in the Apple ecosystem. It works with Mac, it works with iPad, it works with iPhone. If you have an Apple Watch, it works really well with Apple Watch. If you have $4,000 to kill, it also works with Vision Pro. There's also a premium version of Fantastical, but for this video, I'm only going over the free features, which are actually quite good. And I would say there's more features in the free version of Fantastical than Notion Calendar has. Now, Notion Calendar is really great in the fact that it works on the web. It has a Windows app. There is a Mac app and there is a app for the iPhone. There doesn't seem to be an Android version of the app just yet. And the other caveat with Notion Calendar is that it only works with Google Calendar. So if you use Apple Calendar or iCal, it won't work with Notion Calendar as I'm recording this video. Maybe in the future, it'll have that compatibility. With Fantastical, you can use Google Calendar and, and that's what I use. If you are using Apple Calendar, Notion Calendar might be a no-go for you. The other thing to think about is if you're somebody who likes integrating your task manager with your calendar and having them kind of seamlessly talk to each other. For me, I, I love having my tasks and my events together. I think it just makes it easier to see what your day looks like or what your week look, looks like. With Notion Calendar, if you're somebody who uses Notion for task management, you have a database that you use with start dates for tasks. If you have a database, you can plug it in and it works quite well. Fantastical is for someone who doesn't use Notion for task management, but uses maybe Todoist or Google tasks. Fantastical offers that for free. If you have a Todoist account or a Google account, it'll automatically seamlessly integrate your task management into your calendar. Now, the first thing I want to talk about when it comes to features with Notion, Calendar, and Fantastical is the mini calendar or the menu bar at the very top. You see, I have two menu bars here, both saying the same thing. One of them is for Notion Calendar, and Notion Calendar does a really nice job of kind of telling me what my upcoming events look like. So what's coming in 53 minutes, tomorrow, Thursday, and then I can click here or I can do use the keyboard shortcut to get a Notion Calendar. Fantastical does the same thing, but it gives you a nice big mini calendar, tells me what the date is and nice blue highlighted tells me all the events. You can see it has some of my tasks on here that I need to complete today. It also has what's, I think the, the killer feature when it comes to calendar app, and only a few of them have this feature, which is natural input. So what I mean by that is if I put Dune at 7 p.m. on Friday, it automatically knows what I'm talking about. Okay, Dune is the event, it's at 7 p.m. and it's on Friday, assuming this Friday and it automatically kind of put that in there. And I'll do add, you can see it has this beautiful animation and it pops in there and it has Dune for Friday to watch it. That's really nice. You could do that even without going into the calendar. It also has a search function, so I can search for my trip to London and I can see, oh, there's my London, London Amsterdam trip. So the fantastic L feature, which is totally free, on the Mac is really robust and you don't even need to get to the calendar, you can just use the mini calendar. And I think this is one, probably one of the, the game changers that, that makes me wanna utilize Fantastical is the ability to use natural language and be able to use this mini calendar feature. Now let's get to the actual calendars themselves. So here's what Notion Calendar looks like. I think it's a good design, but it, it didn't blow me away. And I was expecting more from Notion just because the design of Notion is so nice and pleasing and the calendar is, it's fine, but it doesn't break any new ground. Now at the very top here, you could see there's a bar here, which has a little mini calendar, which I actually really like. And Fantastic has something very similar to this, but it's a bit more robust. You'll see I'm on March 5th, which is where I'm, when I'm recording this video. If I go into six, you'll see this nice design that happens. You can see it just highlights Wednesday. I like that a lot. If you want to look at your calendars, you can go down here, you can look at all your Google calendars and uncheck them if you want. You can also add a database, and this is one of the features that I think for a lot of people they've been waiting for. If you click here, and if I put in Notion Calendar, and I don't really use task management in Notion, so I'm using this as a sample for this video, but if I click here, so now that I've connected my task management database, these are the two tasks I've created, and they're both in purple, laundry, and book a massage, and I'll show you what it looks like in the database itself. So I have laundry, book massage, and I have dates on here, so I can change these automatically. So if I take laundry and I put 
it on, let's say, Sunday. That's a good day for laundry, right? And I go back to my calendar. You'll see laundry has been automatically moved to Sunday, March 10th. And it actually worked really fast. I like, kind of like that. I can also take these and I can time block if that's something I want to do. And I can make it an hour for laundry on Sunday from 12 to 1 p.m. So works really well if you do use Notion for task management. The other thing I really like about Notion Calendar that I wish Fantastic Al would just steal is the keyboard shortcuts. I'm a big fan of keyboard shortcuts, especially when I want to, want to look at my calendar in different views. So if I do D, I get the day view and I do T, it's today and I can do W for week. I could do M for month. I can also do two for two days. I could do four days. I could do set five days. I love the ability to look at my calendar in different views and different days. And this works really well on the mobile Notion calendar app as well. So you could open up your Notion calendar and see the next three days, which I think is a great way to look at your calendar, not just today or a week view. You want to look at it the next three days, the next four days. I like that customization. I wish Fantastical had that feature. There's also a nice command bar here where you can go to selected events. Pretty good job with Notion calendar. I'm sure it's only going to get better. They basically bought a company and they turned their app into Notion calendar. So I'm hoping that this is just an evolution and the calendar app is going to be better. But now let's look at Fantastical. So this is what Fantastical looks like on the Mac. And right away, you'll see that the design is a little bit similar to Notion Calendar and that in the fact that it has this bar here. Obviously, there's a contrast here with the black and the white, which I really love. And there's a pop of color with Fantastical. You can see the red really sticks out here with the app. And what I love about this app is the little small things that it does really well. And again, all the stuff I'm showing is totally free if you're comparing two free calendar apps. One thing is you can hover over a day and you can see what events or tasks you have for that day. Fantastica also integrates the weather into their calendar app. So you could see the next three days. And that's, again, a free feature of Fantastical. Now, the con, which I mentioned before, is if I want to look at like a month view, I have to click on month or I have to click on day. I can use a keyboard shortcut, which is like command one or command two, which a little bit annoying. I, I like the way keyboard shortcuts work with Notion Calendar over Fantastical. But I do love the quarter feature, which is a kind of a cute, cool view to look at your calendar. And the year view works really well with this heat map, very colorful in yellow. You can see the days where you're busy. And again, you can hover over them and see what's going on that day. For Valentine's Day, I was doing a Apple Vision demo. That's how I spent Valentine's Day. And here's the search function. So I put Apple Vision Pro. You can see when I did that, the search function works really well. It's really fast. And that search is right there anytime you want to look for events. The other thing I really like about Fantastical is how it shows all day events. It highlights them and puts them at the very top of that day. And if you see, I hovered over my trip to Tucson, it highlighted all the days that I'm going to Tucson. They've taken a lot of time to design a calendar app that, that works in an intuitive and in a really pretty way. The last thing I want to just talk about is task management and Fantastic App. If you use Apple Reminders, Google Tasks, or Todoist, all those work really well with the app. And you can see I have I have mine hooked up to Todoist, but you could see Book uh, London Hotel is one of my things I need to do tonight. I have it on my calendar for 9 p.m. and I can easily move this up. It doesn't work as well as Notion Calendar with its integration. I can't like easily time block. That's one of the limitations of Fantastical, but it still works relatively well. So my final thought is that if you do use a Mac and you use Google Calendar, you should be using both these apps and they both have their pros and cons. I love using Notion Calendar for their three day view on my iPhone, but I also love looking at my calendar in different views quickly on my Mac. If you're someone who uses Notion and use Notion for task management, it's still important that you use Fantastical because you can use the intelligent input to at events really quickly, which I think is just a godsend that I think is just magical. But maybe you're someone who has a Windows computer, so you could use Notion on your Windows computer or the web version, but then you can use Fantastic on your iPhone if you have an iPhone. So definitely check out both apps and play around with both of them. They are both evolving, and I think they're probably the two best apps out there. There's another app called Amy that I'm still looking at that, again, another beautiful design app. So maybe I'll have a video on that. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.